here we have Virgin Media's new Hub 4. It's their router for their Gig 1 option, which is gigabit download speeds and 52 megabit upload. Now that's only achievable on an, an Ethernet cable, such as this cable right here, because it does not support Wi-Fi 6, nor does it have the capability to transmit a gigabit on Wi-Fi. So you're limited to about 600 on Wi-Fi. Now looking around the back of it, we have four gigabit Ethernet ports. So you can connect one to your Virgin Media box if you so wish, but it does not need Ethernet to run. You can actually connect your Virgin Media Hub 6 box directly to Wi-Fi. So you don't actually need it. So then you've got four gigabit ports. Um, and then you have two telephone ports. So Virgin Media has recently been changing everyone's phones from a, a direct um, phone cable into it connecting into the hub with this little adapter. So there's two of those and you can just connect one to a base station so that's good because you can have like up to four phones. Then there's the coaxial cable in and there's the power and the little power switch. And this is the LED light. You can change the brightness through the app as well or through the website. And that's just the indicator. It's quite a big router. If you compare it to the Virgin Media Hub 6 box, there, it's a pretty big router. It kind of looks like the new Xbox Series X, but smaller. And it does get quite warm, so you should keep it in an open space. So this is just ventilation. You can see a little bit through it. It does get quite toasty there. And you should also try and keep it in open space away from things like a TV so that it has a much better signal. Now here we have Virgin Media's Wi-Fi pod. So if you have if you get the gig one option, they automatically supply you with a Wi-Fi pod if you have a bad connection or if you have black spots in your house. And this comes in its own little box. You can get up to three now, I believe, if you're with O2 as well. It's a new deal. So we have I have two of these currently only using one but they sent another one in case we need in case we need it and all this has is a gigabit port underneath and then vents for a little fan and you just plug it directly into the wall like so so you take it here plug it in you switch it on a little LED indicator will show and it'll flash for about for a few minutes, maybe five to ten minutes it should be flashing. Well not flashing, but it should be like fading in and out like like that. And all that means is it's trying to find a compatible router to connect to. So in this case it'd be trying to find the hub four. And there's nothing else you need. You don't need to connect this to the hub four with a cable. You just plug it in and it connects on its own to your router. And if you have a second one, you um, you can simply put it anywhere else in the house and it'll do the same thing. Now, I believe this only supports the 2.4 gigahertz band as well. So it doesn't give you a faster speed. It just increases the range. So, for example, this room is close to the garden. So I'd put, I'd put it in here so that my garden has much better Wi-Fi signal. So it calls and cuts out. It's a pretty small footprint as well. It doesn't take up too much space in the socket, which means that there is space for other plugs such as this lamp. So yeah, that's all you have to do. Now the Hub 4 also comes with its own ethernet cable. I have three of these ones from Virgin Media that's branded there because they probably, I think they came with um, the Hub 6 boxes as well, but yes, they do provide you with an ethernet cable. And as you can see right there, it is capable of CAT6, which means it is capable of speeds of up to a gigabit, which is perfect for this router and perfect for your um, Wi-Fi speeds of gig one. Now I'm going to do a simple two-speed test. So firstly, I'm going to plug this adapter from Ethernet to USB-C into my device. And once it's plugged in, all I have to do is simply take my Ethernet cable and plug it into my adapter and it should make a nice click sound and now these internet cables are quite good actually because as you can see they're well protected it's a thick cable and it's got this little jacket on top of the 
jack as well so when you push it down to plug it into your port and it flicks back up it's got this little rubber protection so that the piece doesn't break off so that's quite a nice little touch now i've plugged in the internet cable to the hub 4 and it's plugged into my device and i'm going to show you a little recording of the speed test with this cable plugged in and then i will unplug the internet cable and do a speed test on wi-fi i'll do one right here just to show you the speed difference with the cable and with wi-fi now this device does have wi-fi 6 but it doesn't matter because the hub itself doesn't have wi-fi 6. now i've got my internet cable plugged in and it doesn't actually show up with anything, so if I pull down from here on my iPad, um, the Wi-Fi isn't actually connected, so I can just turn that off. There's no special symbol for in, for um, Ethernet being plugged in, so you your device doesn't actually show that, so you just be aware of that. And I'm going to hit go for the speed test. This is, this is with the internet cable plugged directly into my device. And... This does depend on the actual adapter you use. Like for example, if you plug this cable directly into your computer, then you you should get much faster speeds because this is with an adapter, so there will be some loss there. But as you can see, 52 upload, which is as advertised, and 782 download. So it also depends on the time of day. So when there's more traffic, for example, at 5 p.m., 7 p.m., 8 p.m., um, then the speeds will be slower, but it, during the day when no one's really using it, you should be getting 900 to 1,000. Okay, now I'm going to run the speed test directly on Wi-Fi. So I'm actually just a meter away from the Hub 5, so Hub, sorry, Hub 4. So of course your actual, your actual device will probably be a bit further away than that from the Hub, but I'm just showing you the speed difference from a cable versus on Wi-Fi. I'm just going to hit go. And already you've seen it's a 200 megabit per second download drop. And this is on. And so it's quite a big difference. And I'm, I'm as I said, a meter away from the hub. And the upload speeds aren't particularly great either. And it does take a while for it to go up. So it's not, the upload speed isn't much different. But as you can see, the download speed, you probably won't get much more than 550. The highest I've ever gotten is 565 on Wi-Fi. Whereas on an internet cable, I have achieved 1,000 before on download. So that's just something to be aware of. Now, the Virgin Media Hub 4 is, fairly, is a fairly new router. We got this in January 2021. And at that time, it was a pretty new router, and it still is. We got this less than a year ago, and at that point, it's quite it was quite new, but there are already um, articles and on the there are already news articles about Virgin Media's Hub Five, which sports Wi Fi Six, which this one does not, and what Wi Fi Six does is increases the speed of which the Wi Fi can be transmitted at, and it also increases the range. So that means when you're closer to the hub, your speed should be faster if you're on a Wi-Fi 6 capable device. And if you're further away from the hub, you should see faster speeds due to the increased range. And of course, if your garden does not, if not all of your garden has Wi-Fi, then the Wi-Fi 6 router should help with that. Now, of course, you could just buy your own Wi-Fi 6 router for about £80 and connect it up to this one and set that new one as your main router. But it's, this is just something to be aware of because there are people already testing out and trialing the new Hub 5 and it should make its debut in 2022. So if you're thinking of, so if you already have this router and you're thinking of getting a Wi-Fi 6 router to connect to this one, then you might want to hold off for a bit as there is a new one on the horizon. So I'm just going to do a Sam Knows real speed test. So what this shows is, what this does is that it shows the speed that's um, the Hub 4 is receiving from Virgin Media themselves and then it shows you the speed that you get on your device so in this case I'm using an iPad Air 4 and so it'll show me the speed that I can get from my router and the speed I'm currently getting on my device so as you can see I'm getting 1.1 gigabits to my router and I'm getting 521 megabits down 
on my iPad. What this means is there is obviously a limiting factor, which is the Wi-Fi speed. So if you're using an Ethernet cable, then you would get the full speed, but this shows you that Virgin Media is providing the speed to the router. It's just the router that's not strong enough to deliver the speed. So I just put this in there because many people might think that, oh, I'm not getting the speed of my device. This means that Virgin Media isn't giving me the speed that I'm paying for. Well, they're wrong. You are, Virgin Media is giving the speed they are advertising. It's just that it's not able to get to your device. If you use a cable, it will, but on Wi-Fi, as of now, you will not be able to get the full speed. Just bear that in mind.